All right, y'all. So we're in the Arlington National Cemetery. And you probably have seen this place plenty of times on um, movies and stuff like that. Especially like a lot of war movies you've probably seen it on. You know, so we're gonna walk around the cemetery, tour around it a little bit. Uh, they do have a, um, like a train you can get on and ride around on it, but I don't think we're gonna do that. We're probably just gonna walk around it, check out the sights. And, uh, yeah, man, just check it out, check it out, man. A lot of places I'm gonna go to, like I said, if you're like a military buff like me, like to watch like a lot of war movies and stuff, you're gonna recognize a lot of these places that we're gonna be going to in this in here. every half hour so you'll have plenty of opportunities to see that fourth final stop will be arlington house arlington house highest point in arlington national cemetery so this is where you get all your pictures of the city plus museums for the enslaved workers and robert elite gift shop restrooms so highest point in the cemetery this is where you get all your pictures again now at the moment we have two stops closed we're not going to the coast guard memorial they have no work going on over there and we're not going over to the Ord Wetzel Gate, where if you like, you walk over to the Marine Corps War Memorial. We have funeral activity going on over there. So we're going to run like a bus. We're going to make a stop. You can stay on and get off. You get off, we go on to the next stop. You stay, you walk around, explore, take pictures. All right, everyone, let's begin. Now, coming up on the driver's side, Military Women's Memorial. Only National Memorial dedicated to all the women and all the branches of the armed forces past President of the Union. Founded by Air Force Brigadier General Wilma Alwash, currently celebrating its 25th anniversary. You can even walk around the cops and you can pull people up there. Well, we're the best of you having on the deck. Now we're entering the cemetery through the World War One gate. Now you notice the insignias on the gate. So you follow the walkway behind the Great Wall, 
Ryan Russell plays for John F. Kennedy. Jackie Kennedy and the two inches golden. If you keep walking, two wooden crosses, one cross for Brother Ralph Kennedy, other cross for Brother Edward Kennedy, and a final memorial marker for the eldest brother Joseph Kennedy Jr. Now he was a naval aviator. Plane exploded over the North Sea during World War II. Remains were never recovered. So now all the way on the top of the hill here on the passenger side, you have the final resting place for the last five-star naval officer, Fleet Admiral William Bullhalsey, commanded the third fleet during World War II. Now, on the drive passenger side, here are four large markers in a row. This is Chaplain's Hill. One marker says Chaplains. For 23 chaplains of all denominations, died during World War I. All the three markers for chaplains of the Catholic faith, Protestant faith, and Jewish faiths died during World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. Now on the driver's side, follow the road, and you'll find that orange arch. That is the McClellan Gate, the last of the four original linkages to Arlington National Cemetery. Named after Union Civil War General George B. McClellan, who President Abraham Lincoln hired twice, and who President Abraham Lincoln fired twice, liked him that much. Gates made out of the same red sandstone that they used to make the cows of the Smithsonian. All right, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Sentinel Pascal of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Guard of Honor, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, it is requested that everyone remain silent and standing. Thank you. 